He's not long, but he's fat. I guess I shouldn't talk about fat. Look at that dude. He's a tank. I mean, this is awesome. Downtown Chicago. <laughs> Seeing mostly tourists. Boy, that's a hefty little guy. Look at this guy. Look at the belly on this one. Holy cow. You think this guy's been eating? Look at down this fish's mouth. What do you think he's eating? Mr. Crayfish didn't make it home tonight. Was on. Time on the Water is brought to you in part by Shimano Rods and Reels. up to 300 feet gives you a detailed 360 degree view of structure, contour changes, and fish. So you can see them before they see you. Introducing 360 imaging, only from Omnibus. Time on the Water is brought to you by Humminbird Electronics. Simply, clearly, better. This show was a show we'd actually talked about doing for a long time. It was filmed on Lake Michigan in downtown Chicago. Uh, over the past decade or so, the smallmouth fishery has really come back and, and it's really become more prominent. Uh, there are guys that are just catching some giant sacks of fish out there on Lake Michigan and we wanted to give it a try. So we went out there, it was early May, the water was still in the 50s, uh, met some old friends and uh, started fishing. All right, here you go. Flip them in. That is the smallest one I've seen. Nice job. Alright. I'm gonna go back see if I can catch the missus. Yeah, the missus is probably there. That is. How'd he bite it? Cool. He smoked it on the fall. Might have been on that wall. Yeah, he was right up on it. Yeah. Good job. Let's find the the big girls. Yeah. <laughs> We filmed with two guys that I'd met and known around the Chicago area for a long time, Ryan Whitaker and a guy named JP, the HHF, which stands for Hip Hop Fisherman. Uh, they're a member of what they call the cast crew. And the cast crew, we represent, we're like sort of like a fishing team, a brand, and a lifestyle. We've got a website you can check us out on, cast312.com. We've got a YouTube page, Cast Chicago. We've got an Instagram account, Cast312 or Cast Crew. It's this really neat bunch of guys that uh, they just fish around Chicago downtown, uh, mostly from the bank, uh, Lake Michigan, the Chicago River, uh, and, and fishing is their passion, but they're younger guys, so they're really into hip-hop music and, and that whole lifestyle. And uh, boy, these guys can fish, and it was a lot of fun spending a day in the boat with them. Yeah, it is. Want me to net her? Uh, yeah. Here you go. I'm hung up in the corner. <laughs> nice fish. <laughs> Not ready yet. Nah, charged up. Yeah. 
What, you, what bait are you throwing? Ah, uh, that little jig I tied with the darter on the back. Nice Jeez. fish. There, there you go. go. All right. Nice. I do live here. Here, I'll take the boat, you take the fish. All righty. Well, that one was actually on the bottom. But no gobies on the throat. How did it hit it? Right. She was just kind of on there. Just felt some weight and she was swimming off. So. Nice job. Even though we were there in May, uh, we were still way pre-spawn. The water was only just barely over 50 degrees. Uh, and what happens in all the downtown Chicago harbors and surrounding harbors is the fish migrate in and they spawn inside the harbors. And sometimes that happens in May, June, even July, because Lake Michigan's so big, it you know cools slower. Uh, so we were there definitely looking for pre-spawn fish, and it's a, it's a vast body of water. We searched around a lot, but in the end, uh, we caught quite a few. I was on a pause because I was stopping to talk. The net? Yeah, might as well. Throwing the jerk bait. It's not as big as yours, but it's a decent fish. There you go. Oops. Nice one. Nice. Well, bright in downtown Chicago. It feels like we should get some funnel cakes or t-shirts or something. Little dude. Keeper, but just barely. We're working there right off Grand Park. Down here with some of the cast crew guys. And uh, they're showing me all their spots. I'm real lucky. And I think by the time this day's done, we're going to end up getting a bunch of them. Boy, my line's frayed. I'm going to retie. But uh, yeah, we're just getting started. Yeah, that one, I, I stopped to talk, I just paused, and he got on it. He actually felt him hit it while I was sitting? Yeah. So maybe I'm working too fast. Yeah, you know, I haven't uh, caught like one or two a day on a jerkbait down here, but I haven't really, yeah, it's harder to do from the shore. Yeah. Really cover water, I get bored with it after right. a couple of feet, but. Well, I was just thinking it could them, trigger sure. something. Yeah. They are eating those, those bait fish, too. As much as you guys are out here, you know they're here. Oh, yeah. It's funny, when I grew up, this was the Dead Sea. <laughs> People would laugh at you even more than they are right now. But it's turned into a tremendous smallmouth fishery, really probably underutilized. I'm sure that's okay with you guys, but... That's absolutely fine with me. <laughs> It's just difficult, to, it's, it's kind of tough to get out. You right. You gotta fight traffic, and people don't know where to park. But if you can get out here, you can have a ball, and you're not, I mean, there's there's no other bass boats anywhere in sight. I know. You get the whole lake to yourself. <laughs> yeah, they're still kind of looking at us, like what the heck are these guys doing? <laughs> Time on the Water is brought to you by Humminbird Electronics. Simply, clearly, better. Welcome to the Inner Circle. Rotating coverage up to 300 feet gives you a detailed 360 degree view of structure, contour changes, and fish so you can see them before they see you. Introducing 360 Imaging, only from Hummingbird. Time on the Water Outdoors is your fishing and hunting boating center. We have boats from Bass Cat, Sea Ark, Skeeter. If you hunt or fish, we've got a boat that'll work for you. Time on the Water Outdoors has a full service tackle department with lines like Shimano, Terminator, Rapala, as long as a complete line of hyla baits. If you're gonna go fishing on the Illinois River, we have a full service live bait system here. Come to Time on the Water Outdoors, for outdoorsmen by outdoorsmen. From freshwater to saltwater, anglers depend on PowerPro to provide a fish catching edge over standard monofilament or even other super braids. The use of the exclusive enhanced body technology provides a rounder, smoother, slicker, and structurally superior ultra strong braid line enhancing pitching and flipping, jigging, casting, 
trolling, and big game fishing. PowerPro provides specific benefits to every situation an angler encounters and opens the door to waters never fished before. Time on the Water Outdoors is your fishing and hunting boating center. We have boats from Bass Cat, Sea Ark, Skeeter. Next time you're visiting Time on the Water Outdoors, make sure you stop in Big Buck Archery. We're proud to have newly remodeled and expanded our archery division. Uh, we now have an indoor 45-yard range. Uh, we're happy to carry Matthews, Mission, and Hoyt bows. We have a complete archery pro shop. Stop in for the best deal and the best attention you can get. Hold it right there. The Minn Kota Talon locks you onto a fishing spot with unmatched speed and stealth. And when Mother Nature tries to knock you off your mark, hit back with the strongest hold on the water. Talon, stand your ground. Time on the Water is brought to you by Minn Kota Trolling Motors. Anywhere, anytime. It's funny, when I grew up, this was the Dead Sea. <laughs> People would laugh at you even more than they are right now. But it's turned into a tremendous smallmouth fishery, really probably underutilized. I'm sure that's okay with you guys, but... That's absolutely fine with me. <laughs> it's kind of tough to get out. You right. Know, you gotta fight traffic. And people don't know where to park. But if you can get out here, you can have a ball and you're not, I mean, there's there's no other bass boats anywhere in sight. I know. You get the whole lake to yourself. <laughs> yeah, they're still kind of looking at us like, what the heck are these guys doing? You know, the smallmouth fishery on Lake Michigan just keeps improving and it gets better and better. In fact, it's pretty much uh, untapped. Uh, there's so much water down there and what's really neat in Chicago is that the fish, you know, kind of come into the shore where all the best structure is, is all the best, you know, the break walls, the docks, the marinas. Uh, so that's the good side of it. The bad side is access isn't always great. There's a few places to put your boat in. Uh, but like the cast crew does, you know, fishing from shore can be really productive. They catch three and four and five pound fish every day uh, from the bank. So uh, don't overlook it. You have a couple extra hours to go down there, take a spinning rod, some jigs and grubs, and, uh, and you might catch a big one. How about that? Will you ever see them schooling or anything? I have, in the, I have in the fall, late October. You'll see them come up busting alewives sometimes. Usually just at the mouths of the harbors though with that, with that current. Yeah, Large, no, decent. Uh, decent one. Want the net? Nah, I'll get this one. Beautiful. Was he up on the wall or out a little uh, bit? He was, he was out about 10 feet off the wall. He ate it. Yeah, yeah he ate it there. Whoa! Easy killer. Yeah, decent one. Not exactly what we're looking for. <coughs> right color. Hey, that's a nice fish, It's but you're just used to bigger ones. Yeah, we're getting spoiled. Good job. Well, they're here. And we yeah, need I'll his girlfriend. Just hold us here. JP got to hook up here in a second. He's got the good spot in the corner there. Yeah. See, this this whole thing, like that little corner and this. So there's been times where it'd be like. 20 fish on that wall. Really? Just sitting in that little bit of current. I started fishing down here about probably nine years ago, nine, ten years ago when I moved here. And uh, I had no idea when I moved here that I'd still be able to catch bass. You know, I ended up going down to one of the harbors, caught one on my first cast ever. So I was really pumped to be able to still fish. You know. Um, but it took a few years to figure out what was really down here though. These, you know, these big smallies that, that come in in the spring and the fall. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to find them in the summertime, but the spring and fall, man, you can come down here and catch the biggest smallie of your life on foot. 
you know, you don't even need a boat. You can jump on a bike, skateboard, rollerblades, whatever. And uh, yeah, it's just incredible fishery. Kind of a chubby little dude too. I was actually bringing the bait up. Are you ready? I think I can get him up here. And he pulled drag. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Nice fish, Frank. Look at this dude. <laughs> I've been throwing a new bait. This is actually a jackal squad minnow. And he just came up and ripped it. You know, I think I might even need some pliers there behind you. Yep. Uh... He's not long, but he's fat. I guess I shouldn't talk about fat. <laughs> Look at that dude. He's a tank. I mean, this is awesome. Downtown Chicago. <laughs> Seeing mostly tourists, boy, that's a hefty little guy. And there's days when these guys catch dozens of them out here. And hopefully this will be one of them they'll turn on. I had that one almost back to the boat. I don't know if he was following or I just came over it. But he hit and pulled drag. That was a beautiful fish. I'd take five of those in any tournament. Thanks for putting me on these. Oh, thanks for coming out. I think, I think you're on to something with that Yeah, he bait. just ripped me. They feed on gobies, alewives, uh, shad, both threadfin and uh, gizzard shad. And there's some sort of shiner too. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but long, skinny, shiny fish. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think it, it changes throughout the year, but it also changes throughout the day too. Because, you know, nightfall, you'll start seeing bait on the surface. And, and then a lot of times they, with, you know, they're, they're eating gobies. They eat gobies in the morning and, and shad at night. Uh, I mean, a lot of times they'll spit up bait fish and you'll see two, three different kinds of bait fish come out. Um, so it's, it's a puzzle. Uh, I feel like it's getting better every year. The water seems to be getting clearer and, uh, you know, the zebra mussels are everywhere now, so they're just filtering out this water. It seems like, it seems to me like the, the, the muddy periods are are shorter now. You get the east winds and it muddies up. And, um, fish are getting big. I mean, we're seeing a lot more four, four and a half pounders than, than in past years. Time on the Water is brought to you in part by Shimano Rods and Reels. Outdoors is your fishing and hunting boating center. We have boats from Bass Cat, Sea Ark, Skeeter. Next time you're visiting Time on the Water Outdoors, make sure you stop in Big Buck Archery. We're proud to have newly remodeled and expanded our archery division. Uh, we now have an indoor 45 yard range. Uh, we're happy to carry Matthews, Mission, and Hoyt bows. We have a complete archery pro shop. Stop in for the best deal and the best attention you can get. Think GPS is just for getting you to the lake? Think again. The new iPilot wireless GPS trolling system can hold your boat in place like an electronic anchor. Record and retrace productive fishing paths, automatically keep you on any bearing you choose, and take total command of speed and steering. iPilot controls your boat with wireless GPS precision so you can focus on fishing. And it's only from Minn Kota. Time on the Water Outdoors is your fishing and hunting boating center. We have boats from Bass Cat, Sea Ark, Skeeter. If you hunt or fish, we've got a boat that'll work for you. Time on the Water Outdoors has a full service tackle department with lines like Shimano, Terminator, Rapala, as long as a complete line of Hyla baits. 
If you're going to go fishing on the Illinois River, we have a full service live bait system here. Come to Time on the Water Outdoors for Outdoorsmen by Outdoorsmen. Welcome to the Inner Circle. Rotating coverage up to 300 feet gives you a detailed 360 degree view of structure, contour changes, and fish. So you can see them before they see you. Introducing 360 Imaging, only from Omni. Time on the Water is brought to you by Humminbird Electronics. Simply, clearly, better. <laughs> Look at that dude. It's a tank. I mean, this is awesome downtown Chicago. <laughs> Seeing mostly tourists, boy, that's a hefty little guy. And there's days when these guys catch dozens of them out here. This will be one of them they'll turn on. I had that one almost back to the boat. I don't know if he was following or I just came over it. But he hit and pulled drag. That's a beautiful fish. I'd take five of those in any tournament. Thanks for putting me on these. Oh, thanks for coming out. You know, that one was really light colored too. Yeah. I wonder if he just came in. Maybe. I mean, there's so much structure down here. Yeah. Right. There's got to be... There's probably big Millions craters. Millions of fish, yeah. Like you're looking at here, that's that's all this is. Water temps still in the 50s. I mean, they're they're still coming in. Well, that was fun. Yeah, that was a fresh one. You know, everything you see on TV for bass fishing, bass masters, and tournament things, and you know, they're they're always fishing certain kinds of water. Uh, on Lake Michigan here, these urban anglers are fishing the same kind of things, but a lot of it is artificial. Uh, a lot of the rocks we were fishing were artificial reefs. A lot of the current is made by either harbor entrances or you know discharges. The water, a lot of rebar and stuff that isn't really natural, uh, all of a sudden becomes fish habitat, and that's the kind of stuff we were fishing. And it's really neat. And there were some big, healthy fish there. Get away from there. Get away from no, there. it's a smallie. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Need the net or are you going to flip him? Uh, I can hand land him. Oh, he's a pretty good fish. Can you land him though? Yeah, we'll get him. <clears throat> nice. Was he way against the wall? Uh, just right underneath there in the shade. There you go. Beautiful. Not a bad one. What's crazy is that's like an average fish you're telling me. Oh, absolutely. It might even be a little bit smaller than average so yeah. this time of year. That's amazing. But, yeah, you hit it hard. I mean, the ones that do bite are biting pretty right. good, you know, but beautiful fish though. Yeah, awesome looking. You know, these fish different from other places you fish, that fish may have never been caught. Right. Then again, it may have been caught by JP like two <laughs> nights ago. Just yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. All right. I guess the juice is flowing a little more now. He popped it pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I hopped it once and dung. No question. And wasn't on the wall, just out from it? No, I had pulled it out probably five, ten feet. I mean, that was, you threw in there. Yeah, we five, threw in there I, a bunch I of threw times. in that same spot probably five or six times, too. You know, I've been talking primarily about smallmouth, but there are largemouth bass on there, and there's actually a lot of them. And, and, and those fish pretty much live in the harbors or in the river, you know, the Chicago River. In fact, I'm looking forward to, Ryan told me his best time to fish a river is the middle of the winter. There's some hot water discharges where the fish kind of gang up, so we're gonna look for us to do that this year. Uh, but the largemouth fishing is there as well, and there are fish other species. There's walleyes, there's pike, and then of course the trout and salmon. Uh, lake Michigan is really, really a good fish producing lake. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, it is. Want the net? All right. 
Good job, JP. <laughs> that one will work. Is he right on the wall? First one of those I've seen out here. There's, I don't know if you've been watching, there's a lot of bait right in, in here. Is that on the jig? Yeah, I was actually seeing more stuff as we came up on it. Uh, I love to throw jigs and uh, spinner baits, crank baits, jerk baits. It all really depends what what they're eating. You gotta listen to what the fish say. Net? Yeah, just because he's acting a little crazy. Nice fish. Not as big as the last one, you ready? Yep. Oh yeah. It's a good one. Hey. Another jerk bait fish. Squad minnow. This is beautiful. This is actually the same place we caught that bigger, fatter dude a little while ago. We've got a bunch of current come around here on the rocks. These guys are helping me out a bunch. Yeah, the last fish was real light color. This one's dark and, and he got it kind of far off. So let's let this dude do. Let's see if we can get another one. Nice. <laughs> Nothing like catching smallies on a jerk bait. That one, like the last one, hit way out. Now, I don't know if he was following it or, or what, but hit it pretty good, but hit it close to the boat. You know, I really want to thank the cast crew guys, JP and Ryan. Uh, they're a lot of fun. They do some really neat stuff. They have their own website. They, they produce their own videos. They catch fish. They're into music. But they're, do, they're doing a great job. Uh, look for them on Facebook and on, on the Internet. And, uh, and I think they're, they're just having a lot of fun catching a lot of fish. So the cast crew is a collection of anglers, primarily from Chicago, that all had a love for hip-hop music and hip-hop culture and just different things, being an artist, just different things that were not too commonly found in the fishing community. A lot of things were just were frowned upon by fishing fishing community. Like we're not the typical good old southern boys. We're doing it up here and we're making do with what we got. Thank you.